tree. I know. I know. broken a bone before and it stinks uh <laughs> guess what today's episode happens to be how a bone heals so let's get started well obviously i don't need to explain how somebody breaks a bone right i mean it could be anything from falling off a ladder to anything like ow hey sean uh, yeah, what is it, Prof? It looks like you could use a break. Why don't you sit over here and uh, I'll do today's episode? Uh, you mean we will do today's show? Oh, right. Okay, I guess it can't hurt. Come on. Alright. Good. You okay now, Sean? Yeah, I guess so. Good. <clears throat> Alright everyone, before we get too far into how a bone heals, we must first talk about the different types of bones. And that's something you failed to mention at the beginning of the series, Sean. Yeah, it's true. Sorry. As we look at the different bones in the body, you may have noticed that not all of the bones are the same. There are many types of bones. The first and obvious is the long bone. The best example would be the femur. We also have short bones, like the carpals in the hand. We have the flat bones, like the ribs. We mustn't forget the irregular bones, like the vertebra from the vertebral column. Last but not least, we have something called the sesamoid bone. An example would be the patella or kneecap. Hey, that's pretty cool stuff there, Prof. Hey, say, can uh, we get into the process of how a bone heals? Oh, uh, let me handle this. Oh, all right. Go ahead. Ah, thank you, Professor Wood. As you all know, Sean broke his arm. So, how is his bone healing? Well, let's take a look. As you can see in this diagram, there is blood inside the space known as the medullary cavity. When there is a lot of blood inside of this area around the bone, it forms what is called a hematoma. This will soon form what is called a clot. This will stop any more bleeding from the surrounding blood vessels. One quick note. We will be learning more about the circulatory system and how a cut heals a little later on, like in the next few weeks. So I'm just letting you know ahead of time. Ah, thank you, Professor Wood. Let's continue. As the clot forms, the blood in this area dies. Once the clot has developed, another substance appears. It is a callus. This is a type of tissue which will help bring the bones back together. Over a period of time, say a few weeks, the callus will solidify or harden to become new bone. Once the bone is healed, you're back in action. Keep in mind that even though the bone is healed, it is still prone to break again, since it has been broken once. It's always a good idea to make sure that you take extra care around the bone where the breakage occurred. That way it won't get broken again. Also, different bones will take longer to heal depending on what bone you break and how bad the damage is. Well, everyone, looks like we are finished with today's episode. Let's go over a quick... Ow! Oh, 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 here, I'll do it. <clears throat> All right, everyone, it's time for a quick review. When a bone breaks, 
blood leaks out into the wound and forms a hematoma. This will later on form a callus. After several weeks, the callus will solidify to become new bone. Okay students, that is it for part 7 of the skeletal system. Next week, we will be talking about the different joints and movements of the skeletal system. Hopefully Sean's arm will be healed by then. Okay, class dismissed. See you guys. Oh, and be sure to like this video and leave a comment telling us what you thought about today's show. And be sure to follow my Google+, Twitter, Key, Facebook, you name it. <laughs> Bye. Oh, until next time, keep on learning. Finally, I get to take this thing off. See? My arm wasn't really broken. <laughs> Fooled you! <laughs> yeah, you probably already knew already. Oh! Ow! That was my other arm. <laughs>